Hello and good morning. It's Phil Thatch and today I'm here at Volkswagen Wetlands. There's supposed to be a green heron hanging around here, which is, I don't know if it's highly unusual for Tennessee, but you don't see a whole lot of those in Tennessee. And usually this time of year, it's, it's uh, kind of mid-August is the most likely time of year to see a green heron. But first, let me show you when Heather and I came to this same location last night. Heather and I heard that there was a green heron here at Volkswagen Wetlands, so we came down to check it out. Mostly what we saw was frogs, but we did see a green heron from about a million miles away, and we saw some mockingbirds and nothing really special. Did you get any pictures frogs of anything? Frogs are special. Yeah, frogs are special. We definitely got frogs. Hmm. We'll start off with Heather's photographs, and here it is. It's an American bullfrog that she photographed, and she was using the 100 to 500. Look at this beautiful northern mockingbird that she photographed. And here is a green heron. This is what we actually went there to see. And with the 500 millimeter lens, it's kind of hard to fill the frame with a green heron at Volkswagen Wetlands. And here is another American bullfrog that Heather photographed and still one more American bullfrogs. I think the bullfrogs was Heather's favorite subject. Now here are my photographs. This is a northern flicker, yellow shafted, I believe, up high in a tree. And I also photographed a bullfrog. All of my shots are with the 800 millimeter F11. And look, it's a green heron high up in a tree. I like this shot because it has a little glint in its eye. And another way high in a tree green heron shot. The heron didn't get close that night. Here is a swallowtail butterfly on a flower. I thought that was pretty cool. And another green heron shot just so far in the distance. This is with the 800 lens and I did get one more shot of an American bullfrog that evening. Didn't see a whole lot of bullfrogs the next morning. Volkswagen Wetlands is a fairly large wet area near the Volkswagen plant in Chattanooga and it's just right along the side of a road and I'm fortunate because it's fairly near my house. I've been here for a while and so far all I've seen is a eastern bluebird and some Phoebes. Here is a juvenile northern mockingbird that was there at Volkswagen Wetlands and as you can see it was pretty cloudy that morning so I had to use a lot of ISO in these shots. This is a gray catbird and this is a female eastern bluebird that was there at Volkswagen Wetlands. And another bird that you see a lot at Volkswagen Wetlands is a Phoebe. This is an eastern Phoebe. Look how cute it is all puffed up on that branch. And here is another eastern Phoebe. I do enjoy photographing the Phoebes. It's just hard to get them to come close enough. And then here is a video clip of the Eastern Phoebe just uh, being cute and bouncing its tail to stay balanced. And now all of a sudden one green heron showed up and then a second one. Unlike the night before when the herons finally did show up they were down low and it looked like they were hunting for food. They eat frogs and fish and who knows what else there in the wetlands and it's always fun to see them. It's such a beautiful bird that we only get to see in Tennessee just a small portion of the summer. Today and last night, I'm using the Canon R7 and the 800 millimeter F11 lens. Even though the green heron is larger than most of the small birds we photograph, it's still small for a heron. And I would consider this close and they're probably at least 100 feet away. So you need a lot of focal length. Can you see them? There's actually two in this shot. When they get a little bit excited, the feathers on the top of their head kind of stick straight up. They almost look like a combination of a rooster and a heron. And then here is the green heron in its more traditional look. And here's a little bit of video of the green heron as it was hanging around. And here it is on a log. You know, it gets excited. The, the feathers poke up on the top and also its tail feathers bounce up and down which is kind of interesting and there it is with its neck extended and there it is the way you see it most of the time with its neck not extended as it's searching for food there in the wetlands. The birds are starting to get a little bit used to me being here as a matter of fact a female downy woodpecker came relatively close probably 30 or 40 feet away and and uh, kind of worked her way up and down a lot of these little spindly trees that are here growing out of the wetlands and I think I got photos and video clips of her. 
All right, here is that female downy woodpecker, and I have to admit, I got a little bit carried away. She was working on these trees that weren't too awful far away from me, and she worked her way from the bottom to the top of probably 10 or 15 trees. And, oh, look, it's a Carolina chickadee, similar colors to the downy woodpecker, but we're now we're back to the downy woodpecker. Got a little spider web in this shot. And in this next one, she was a good bit closer, so the, the photograph is not cropped as much, a little bit sharper. And she was super cute in this one as she was eyeballing that piece of wood to try to figure out what she can find to eat. Oh, look, it's another Eastern Phoebe there at Volkswagen Wetlands. And now we're back to the female downy woodpecker at Volkswagen Wetlands. And I managed to get a little bit of video of her, and you can kind of see what she does. She makes her way up the little spindly trees, and while she does that, she kind of pecks around on the wood. I guess she's looking for insects to eat. But it was a real joy to get to see her for a little bit of uh, kind of a long time instead of just a few seconds. I went back to the car to get my other cup of coffee, which the car is just 75 yards that way. And when I came back, both of the green heron that were out here, I couldn't find anymore. And I sat here for just a few minutes and then I found one probably just a little bit less than halfway back and made a few shots. You know, I guess that the green heron are probably in our area more than just a month or so, but that's really the only time I'm able to find them. And you know, people in Florida are lucky they get to see these birds all the time. This may be my favorite shot of the entire video, just a beautiful pose that the green heron had there on that piece of wood sticking up and out of the wetlands. And here is the green heron with its neck extended, which you don't see that as much. Our green heron friend caught a fish. I think it might've been a catfish. That is no catfish. After looking at these pictures quite a bit, what I believe that is, is a really large tadpole that would have eventually become an American bullfrog, except for this green heron swallowed it whole. Here on, as you're looking at the bottom of it, you can see some legs starting to develop there at the front of the bottom of its tail. And look, here's a video clip of the happy bird licking its chops after swallowing that giant tadpole whole. And now let's sit there happily and start doing some digesting. This is definitely the closest that the green heron has gotten to the road made a number of pictures of it as it walked down that log and up onto that branch that it's on now. Here is the beautiful green heron as it's slowly walking down that log and this shot is on that same piece of wood that it was on in the previous video clip and the next one. That's going to do it for me here at Volkswagen Wetlands where Heather and I came out last night for a little while and I came this morning for a little while to try to get photos of green herons. And while I don't think there were any amazing green heron photos, we definitely met our goal and saw and photographed green heron here at Volkswagen Wetlands. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, a thumbs up's always appreciated and I'd love it if you subscribed and hit the bell. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye from Volkswagen Wetlands in Chattanooga, Tennessee.